Is today the day, the day that you choose you? Are you ready and willing to play outside the confines that keep you stuck? This is your invitation to receive new perspectives, to open up to a new energy of limitless choices with your health, body, spaces, relationships, money, business, and beyond. Are you ready to leap fences and embrace your boundless life? Listen now to Infinite Energy's radio show with Lisa Bennett. Hello, hello everyone. It is Friday and for those of you that are wondering what day of the week it is, it yes, it is Friday. <laughs> And it is a blue sky, sunny day here in Calgary, Alberta. And wherever you are in the world, I hope that you've had an awesome day or it's the start of a gorgeous day for you. And I thought that this time was time to bring a little levity to the situation in the world. So uh, we're talking about the sock drawer today. And for any of you that are first time listeners, welcome. My name is Lisa Bennett. I'm a space whisperer. So what is that? Well, in a nutshell, I'm someone that has had this uh, capacity, gift um, around spaces. And I'm not talking just about your home space. I'm talking about the space of your business uh, and, yes, physical spaces. So if you have been working from home, which, boy, majority of people are, then you're very, very aware of your space in your home. And interestingly enough, I sent out a survey to my, um, my sort of group of, of listeners and, and, uh, and clients over the years and just asked them a little bit about what was going on with them and, and what were their greatest sort of concerns, what was going on with them. And interestingly enough, a lot of people were really enjoying being in their homes and they were seeing the value of being in their homes and the value of being with their loved ones if they could uh, and the connection that they're making with people from all over the world, which is really cool. And then, of course, after a certain length of time, it might be the honeymoon's getting a little over or uh, they're realizing that, Wow, maybe I should start addressing some of those home projects. So it all starts with the sock drawer. The mismatched socks, the holes in your socks, the missing socks. What if this is a metaphor for your life? And so let's talk a little bit about some sock humor. I thought I'd start it off with a couple of funny, funny uh, sock jokes. So what do you call a bear with no socks on. <laughs> Insert laughter. Barefoot. <laughs> okay, so who's the most famous footwear philosopher? Insert laugh. Socrates. <laughs> and why are old socks good for golf? Because they have 18 holes. <laughs> Groan, I know, I know, I'm getting some groans here. So what did the what did the hat say to the sock? I'll go ahead, you go on foot. <laughs> oh, sorry, I just had to add some humor this morning. So I'll I'll throw in a few more sock jokes as we go along, but uh really uh I could do a whole show on sock humor. So where are we not willing to find humor in everything in life and the joy? And and I know that there's some challenging things that have been going on absolutely with some of my very dear friends and my heart goes out to them. And I want you to know that laughter is one of the greatest, greatest forms of medicine for each of our bodies and bringing joy into our spaces is one of those great gifts and so when I think of the sock drawer and I remember as a young girl uh, when I my my mother had passed away when I was young and so I remember I was somehow given the task of, of family laundry and it was always 
one of the things that I remember, because I have twin brothers and um, a sister myself, and then, you know, my father. And so, you know, laundry, there was a lot of it was sort of en masse. And socks being one of the greatest areas that turned into a little bit of a, you've got my sock, you've got my sock, where's my sock, I'm missing a sock, uh, holes in the sock, and then putting pairs of socks together. And sometimes there would be a fight over, well, that one's got a hole in it, that's your sock, and therefore the one that doesn't have a hole in it is my sock. And so how many times have you found yourself having these silly arguments over socks? And I remember, actually, there was a certain way of of rolling my father's socks for work. And there, there, it was a trick that my grandmother must have passed on. And it had to be a certain way. And then it was, there was this, there was this thing about putting the socks in the sock drawer and in the sock drawer was where he kept his loose change in a mason jar. And so the sock drawer was just not a sock drawer. It was actually a very special drawer because that sock drawer also contained the extra change that would come out of his pocket at the end of the day of work. So it was always sort of a little bit of a bonus because you sort of like, oh, there's a little extra change in the sock drawer and then I'll uh, head into the sock drawer and and uh, maybe I'll, I'll grab a few coins for me to go to the candy store as a kid. So there was motivation for working on and working with the socks that came out of the laundry over the years. So how many of you acknowledge that you have socks for different functions. So you have your socks for your gym, you have your socks for your skiing, you have your socks for your different sports. Maybe there's, if you're a, a soccer player, you have socks for soccer and you have socks for flying. If they're compression socks, you might have short socks, tall socks, medium socks, wool socks, cotton socks different colored pairs of socks. And where is this a metaphor for everything that you have within your space in your life? And so look around your space and see that you might have plates for every day, plates for special occasions, and those plates for very, very special occasions. And then you might have glasses, but not just everyday glasses. You have your everyday glasses and you have your well, certain friends, when they come over glasses, and then you might have the glasses for those very, very special occasions. And as you start to notice how many glasses or sets of glasses have a chip or missing one, maybe you had a six or 12 and now you're down to three odd numbers, so now you have to mix and match the glasses whenever you have a dinner party. And again, where is this a metaphor for everything in your life? How many mismatched items do you have within your space that you're holding on to because of who gave it to you, what the story is, and how many of you are willing to mismatch and have your dining room table set up with mismatched items and have fun with it instead of thinking that because you have a mismatch set or you don't have a perfect set that you can not ever use them, that they're to be donated, given away, and or not seeing the value or embarrassed with them. And so imagine, because I've been to this really funky restaurant a few years ago, and their whole way of serving with everybody was on different plates with different cups and different utensils and it was so fun that nothing matched and that was what they found to be that was sort of the the theme of the whole restaurant and i absolutely loved that they didn't see these mismatched items as not actually being valuable in fact they 
found them very highly collectible. So are you willing to see the items in your home that you had assumed were of no value, that actually they might be of value to you in your life? And really, how many of us are truly mismatched? How many of us look in the mirror and go, well, this isn't perfect, the nose isn't perfect, one ear is bigger than the other, one eye is bigger than the other, um, my smile's a little crooked, my teeth are a little crooked, oh, oh, one shoulder's higher than the other, I might have a couple of fingers that are slightly bent and maybe I have a knock need or maybe I'm, I'm uh, my, my feet pronate. And if you start to look at how there's beauty in imperfection, are you willing to embrace the imperfection of your space the imperfection of your beautiful body, the imperfection of what you have collected and have within your space. And so I would like for each of you to really be kind to yourself at this particular time and find fun and play and joy in what you have within your home and be grateful grateful energy and and just infuses so much into our spaces which is exactly what each and every one of us needs now for any of you that are listening and have some questions that may be going on for you around your space feel free to call in at 1-815-880-8255 if you're in the U.S or 1-613-800-8736 if you're in Canada. And you can also go to the Inspired Choices Network and there's a Skype button directly uh, at the top of the screen. And you can call in through Skype or you can go in through the chat room on Inspired Choices Network and ask questions in there. Last week we had some live callers. This week I'm ready for any of you that have questions, that have specific questions about what's going on with your space. And trust me, there's a lot of stuff percolating out there around people in their spaces. And many of my listeners aren't even in their homes. They're in other people's spaces. They might be bunking with friends or staying with friends or they might be in a hotel room in another country because they haven't been able to get home. So they're in what they call temporary situation. But the one interesting thing that I'm aware of is their temporary situation has turned into something a little bit longer term. So for each of you, there can be some fun, some play, some joy found within the space that you're in today. And so feel free to reach out and ask questions. And uh, any of you that are in the chat room, if you want to come on live and ask questions, don't be shy. This is your time. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about the space that you're in today. Now, many of us have had this space of being isolated for eight weeks, six weeks, four weeks, ten weeks. Uh, some of my, my friends in China are longer. And so there is this wonderful underlying energy of you're not alone and you're not in this alone. In fact, it's the first time in history that every single person on this planet is in some form going through their own inner conversation about where am I going to be in a month? What's life going to look like in a month? What's it going to look like in two months? If I listen to the news enough, this is what's going on. And so if you can just follow your inner knowing and your inner awareness, literally listen to what is true for you. 
be educated about what's true for you. And I know there are so many different platforms out there in the media that you can be hearing misinformation. And you're smart enough, you're clever enough, and know that your home, your space, is exactly what is required for you right now. In fact, this is the time for you to honor your space clean your space, organize your space. And yeah, it starts with the sock drawer. So what if today, after the show, or even if you're listening to the show and moving around in your home, that you go to your sock drawer, pull out every single sock, put it on the floor, put it on the bed, and start to look at the socks that you have there and go, okay, how many of these socks are required and you're one person with two feet, so how many socks do you actually require? How many of you have been hoarding socks? And if you have 30, 40, 50 pairs of socks, really ask yourself, how many socks do I need to have for going and working out. How many socks do I require for this particular sport? Now, if you're an athlete, then hey, I get it. I get that there's athletic socks that are required for certain things. And how many pairs of socks do you need for your business? How many pairs of socks do you require for matching all these other outfits? If you're living in the winter time, I get it. I love my socks. <laughs> and how many socks actually don't have a partner and they're just hanging out on their own. So what if you, those parents out there, did this with your kids and found all the single socks in your home and made sock puppets? I don't know if any of you remember doing this as kids, but sock puppets were awesome. And you get some old buttons and you get some um, different uh, fabric and you can create sock puppets. And this is where this is where you can find the joy and the fun with socks. Um, there's been there's been really silly things on the internet where there was a guy that put on socks and polished his his uh, floors with socks. Um, th there's just there's a million different things you could Google on the internet. What do I do with socks? <laughs> I know, crazy. I have no idea where that came from, except that I remember as a child actually having sock puppets, but uh, I just thought I'd share that with you today. You know what? We are at a time that humor is going to get us through it. So I'm going to share with you a few more, a few more uh, sock jokes here. Okay. Okay. Okay, my wife keeps complaining that I wear socks when I we have sex. I suppose a condom would be better. <laughs> oh, oh, I love it. Okay, whenever I can't find my other pair of socks, I ch change my Facebook status to single and looking. <laughs> I know, groan. I used to have a few jokes about pairs of matching socks, but I've lost one. Okay, I'm uh, I, I'm I'm going to take a quick break. Everyone that's listening in today, we're going to talk a little bit about what we can create in our spaces going forward and uh, coming in with a lot of silliness and joy today. It is Lisa Bennett's at Infinite Energies on Inspired Choices Network. Have you ever wanted to know how you can choose an amazing life and to be in the space of thrival instead of survival? Are you ready to move beyond the confines of your life? Have you always known that there was another way of living in this world beyond just existing? How about an open conversation that gives you immediate ways to remove the emotional and physical baggage you have carried around with you for years? Listen to Infinite Energy's radio show every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com.
Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. The more someone mentions a space or place, the harder it becomes to ignore. Your home's entrance, for example. Usually, you hardly notice it. But when it's mentioned, you begin to see it as if for the first time, don't you? See the door, the handle, the threshold. Did you know the entrance to your home is a metaphor for the entrance to your life? What's your entrance saying, portraying, projecting? Are you ready to listen to the wisdom and the energy of your spaces? They have transformational information for you. To learn more, reach out and connect with Lisa Bennett's The Space Whisperer at www.infiniteenergies.ca for a private consultation, to book a speaking engagement for your group, or to attend one of her many global workshops. This is Infinite Energy's radio show with empowering coach Lisa Bennett. To participate in the program, please call U.S. 815-880-8255, in Canada, 613-800-8736, or Skype us at Inspired Choices Network. You can send a question or comment to lisa at infiniteenergies.ca. Now back to the program. Hello, everyone, and welcome, welcome. I know it's a crazy, silly Friday, and today I just really wanted to put some levity in uh, the world and have a silly show about socks and spaces and what a metaphor it is for our lives. And for first-time listeners, I am Lisa Bennett's the Space Whisperer, someone that works with spaces around the world, and of course... All of my listeners are in their spaces, and uh, very few of you are are moving about uh, and literally spending almost 24-7 within your space. And so I thought, well, let's get everyone here to go to their sock drawer, and you can tell me uh, later on what you found in your sock drawer. Maybe there's a little treasure there that you've forgotten about, and uh, here's a little joke for you. So what did the boxer say to his opponent? <laughs> Are you ready for the punchline? I'm going to sock it to you. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, it's morning, and uh, this is the kind of humor we're starting our day with, a little sock humor. I know. Oh, gosh. It's it's funny. I uh, I know that uh, if you could find a humor currently with the socks that you have within your space, within your life, um, and and find a humor in the socks that you have at home. And there's lots of socks out there. Sock companies have done a great job in putting sayings on socks. And so find a pair of really tacky socks and wear them. Like the cool thing is in your home space, you could dress up, dress down, dress silly. If you have a dress up box, then put on some silly things. And what if you started to create theme days within your home? So One day could be a color day, it could be a pink day, it could be a blue day, it could be an orange day, it could be a green day. Uh, Yesterday was Earth Day, so did any of you wear green? 
What if you could start to have one day that you have dinner with candlelight and another day that's uh, having a Zoom date with all your friends where you get 20, 30 of your old buddies from high school or schoolmates or family members or co-workers or friends and start to create these themes, celebrate others' birthdays, celebrate that it's Friday, find a reason to celebrate because that's the one thing that we love is to uh, setting the stage for celebration. What if everybody created a theme dinner? So it's chicken night tonight. What if it's shrimp night another night? What if it's Italian night? So start to bring in different flavors to your dinner parties. And instead of having these dinner parties and, and where you'd have people over, say tonight's theme is going to be seafood. So everybody creates something for seafood and then you set a time and then everybody sits down and you bring out your best china, you bring out your best silverware, your beautiful sort of wine or, or champagne glasses and you have a date with a whole group of people where you set a theme and you can't talk about all the negative things that are going on but actually set a theme and it could be a theme about um, family, it could be a theme about um, the best day of your life, it could be the best trip of your life, somebody could do a slideshow. I mean, the, the, the way that we can interact today is absolutely phenomenal. And I've listened and I've watched people get creative. So are you willing to start getting creative within your space? And it was interesting, I the other day, I'll give you an example, I was thinking, oh, I need another whiteboard, I, I tend to be very visual and I like to write out my notes on a whiteboard in my office and uh, I already have two whiteboards and a flip chart and, and I was looking for something else to write on and I went down into my basement and lo and behold, I found this sort of heavy duty cardboard uh, that that it's it's actually heavier than cardboard but it's 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 like compressed uh, board and it was the perfect size and I went perfect I'll put paper on it and I can use that as another surface for me to make some notes on that that are part of this creation that I'm working on and it was just it was magical for me to acknowledge hey Number one, I didn't have to get in my car and drive to Staples and add more stress and more um, stress for the people that are working there or or exposing myself uh, to other people, et cetera, et cetera. I, I said, you know what? I know that I have something within my home that would work. And so where are you being creative within your space that you're actually using items that are adding to the creations of what you're working on in your business, in your day-to-day -day life. And for all those parents out there that have children, I am sure you are creating and becoming incredibly creative with your kids within their home. And so, hello, you've got, if you've got kids, you've got socks. And what can you create with socks that have no partners, that have holes in them, that would now be something creative, something uh, that the kids can create, like a family of socks, socks, and and turn it into their own little puppet show, and on and on and on. So, look at what you have. This is this is the fun time that we can have with with our spaces and not feel that you are uh, told that you have to be kept in your home. Look at it as a, as a gift. Okay. I'm just looking. <laughs> okay. How many of you have walked out the door? This is one of the things I remember. You've done laundry, you've walked out the door, and there was a lump in your pants, and you didn't know what it was, and then 
you know, halfway through the day, it, it was still there. And it wasn't until you got home at the end of the day that you found out you had that one pair of socks that was sticking on the inside of your pants. I know. <laughs> so, uh, I know. Bad. Bad joke. <laughs> Okay, so the socks, if you can imagine, the socks are going on a field trip (laughs) and they're all together going into the laundry. So you have your matching socks, you put them into the washing machine and the socks say to each other, they turn around and they say, okay, everyone, remember, we have a buddy system. (laughs) And then imagine that the socks, when they come out of the wash, there's no longer the buddy system. Somebody lost someone and it's stuck somewhere. I know. I know. I'm having, I'm having fun today. <laughs> All right. You've lost it in your sheets and you've assumed that you no longer have that sock. So this is the time to go through mittens, socks, gloves, anything that you require that needs a matching pair within your home. So the sock drawer will lead to going through the T-shirts, going through the sweaters, going through the blouses, going through the pants, going through the shirts, going through the blazers, going through the ties. And then, oh yeah, those shoes, how many pairs of shoes have one shoe that is the the bottom of the shoe is coming away and if it could talk the sole is actually flipping back and forth or there's a hole. And so are you willing to start to let things go? I know within the community that I live in, we have a recycling, we have a garbage, we have um, a compost, and then we have this, this one particular bin that's open for donations. That donation bin is overflowing. People acknowledge that they have been hoarding and holding on to things that actually could be donated to those that might need them. So if there's one of you, how many jackets, how many coats, how many shoes, how many boots, how many sweaters, how many whatever it is do you require? This is the time for you to say, if I haven't worn it in the last year, then you've got to be willing to let it go. And if you're waiting for that weight that you've been holding on to on your body, and hear that, if you are waiting for that weight that you have been holding on to on your body to be released, and it's 5, 10, 15 years, and you have that one dress, or you have that one pair of jeans, or that pair of pants, you've got to be willing to say, you know what, it's been five years. It's time. It's just holding space. And I'll tell you what happens. And I know it sounds incredibly simple. And I actually had someone the other day say, oh, wow, this is so simple. Yes, it's simple, guys. But how many of you are not willing to actually do it? Because creating action will open up the space for possibilities in your life. Listening or reading a book that tells you This is how you can create a greater life for yourself or change the energy in your space. And you just read it, you highlight it, you put the book back on the bookshelf and say, well, that was really good information. I'm really glad I listened to that radio show or I'm really glad I read that book. And you don't take action. You're going to create the same old BS time and time again. And so it's truly, you've got to be willing to call yourself out in your your shit (laughs) no other word for it and it's not picking up the phone and calling your friends and going you know I've got like 20 jackets what do you think do you think I should let go of some jackets the fact that you even reach out and ask someone before you do it think about it and go wow I have 20 jackets do I require 20 jackets I think now is the time to let some stuff go And so be willing to go through everything in your closet, everything in the drawers, and literally, like, you don't have to do it all at once. One closet at a time, one drawer at a time, 
But the one thing that I do know is that when you let these things go, your business will, believe it or not, it will it will grow. And if you have been laid off, what if this is the time for you to acknowledge that there's another business, there's something else that's been percolating that's actually being asked to be looked at. And that energy of percolation, that energy of, of speaking to you, uh, truthfully, it, it's, it's, it's so apparent in the world right now that we are shifting the way we're going to be doing business. We're going to be shifting the way that we're going to be educating kids. We're going to be shifting the way that we're going to be traveling. We're going to be shifting the way that we're going to be delivering goods. And there is going to be a domino effect that is going to affect every single industry. And wouldn't you like to be on the forefront of creating something magical, new, or looking at things in a completely different way? And this, my friends, is going to be a game changer for each and every one of you. So yeah, the sock drawer, it's a metaphor for being willing to shift, being willing to change. And four months down the road, three months down the road, two months down the road, one month down the road, you're going to be saying, wow, yeah, I shifted. I shifted it and changed it. And I was willing to be a chameleon in my life. So how many of you are willing to be a chameleon in your life? and adjust to what is transpiring within your community, within your city, within your country. So are you willing to be a chameleon? And a chameleon, the gift of a chameleon is they adjust. They adjust to their environment. So are you willing to adjust to the environment that you're currently in? So let's um, let's acknowledge right now from wherever you are, whether you're sitting, you're standing, uh, even when you're driving, just look around. Look at this magical earth that continues to heal herself every single day. Every single day, something magical is showing up. And... For all my friends that love to be out in nature, that have been perhaps told that they can't go hiking, they can't go out into the woods, they can't do this and that. For all of you, and our bodies so require the energy of Earth more than ever, what if you could acknowledge today that the Earth is actually communicating her gratitude to each of us? thanking us for leaving a very small footprint on her right now while she heals you and your space, your life, your businesses, your future businesses, your future relationships, your money, and your body all are healing. And you might not see it as healing. You might be seeing it as things being taken away you might be seeing things as this isn't fair, this is what's been happening in my life. So all of you that are in that mindset, that are in that space, that's okay. Know that this is going to change. This is going to shift. And I would like to do a little bit of um, some energetic contribution to each of you today. And I know uh we started with humor. We started with the sock humor. We started with the sock humor to bring a little levity to the situation. And I promise you that the rest of the show will be based on levity and light and joy to bring into your life. And uh, that's what I'd like to to um, gift to you, each and every one of you, is just a little connection that we can all connect with each other through our space and bring some joy and lightness and laughter into everyone's world 
for a moment, for an hour, for whatever that is for you. And let's shift the energy. And I would be grateful for each of you. So we're going to have a quick break. You're with Lisa Bennett at Infinite Energies on Inspired Choices Network. Have you ever wanted to know how you can choose an amazing life and to be in the space of thrival instead of survival? Are you ready to move beyond the confines of your life? Have you always known that there was another way of living in this world beyond just existing? How about an open conversation that gives you immediate ways to remove the emotional and physical baggage you have carried around with you for years? Listen to Infinite Energy's radio show every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. wish there was an easier way to change any aspect of your life? What if there is? And what if it could be as simple as communicating with your physical environment? Global Space Whisperer Lisa Bennett works with clients all over the world to interpret and translate the language of their homes, offices, and physical surroundings in order to create clarity, freedom, joy, prosperity, and so much more. Learn more about the latest Creating Conscious Spaces workshop and other upcoming events visit www.infiniteenergies.ca. You can also email Lisa today to book a personal consultation or speaking engagement at lisa at infiniteenergies.ca. Would a letter to your home sound something like this? Dear Family Home, thanks for the shelter. I know I don't show you much appreciation, if ever. I try not to think of all the unfinished projects I've been waiting to do, but maybe someday they will be completed. Sound familiar? Lisa Bennett, founder of Creating Conscious Spaces, would like to ask you, what if you stop making excuses and were given simple tools to shift things? Creating Conscious Spaces helps you release old holding patterns and create a nurturing, thriving environment. To learn more, please visit www.infiniteenergies.ca. This is Infinite Energies Radio Show with empowering coach Lisa Bennett. To participate in the program, please call US 815 880 8255. In Canada, 613-800-8736. Or Skype us at Inspired Choices Network. You can send a question or comment to lisa at infiniteenergies.ca. Now back to the program. Hello, hello everyone. Happy Friday. And as I said, today was bringing a little levity into your life, a little joy into your space and yes I have some corny sock humor today and uh, so <laughs> I know I'm uh, I, today was all about the the metaphor of how our socks and our sock drawer can be a metaphor for everything that is going on in our lives right now and so here's here's another groany sock joke get ready we met on mismatch.com. It's socks getting together, having a glass of wine, and everyone's going, oh, how'd you two meet? Well, we met on mismatch.com. <laughs> okay, so there you go. There's, uh, there's, there's my, if you have a sock joke to share with me, please post it on my Facebook page. <laughs> Uh, and uh, for any of you that have been going through your sock drawers during the radio show and have found some treasures, please share, because uh, it's funny. There are a lot of people out there that hide things in their sock drawer, and they hide things within their socks, and they think they're being clever, 
And yet the sock drawer can often be the spot that things are hidden in. So, uh, uh, yeah. And if you are hiding something in your sock drawer, you might want to find a new hiding spot. <laughs> okay. So right now, yesterday was Earth Day. And, um, you know, I, I'm an outdoorsy girl. I love uh, being outside and outdoors and, and uh I have, where I live in Canada, we do have four seasons and there are times that I do do not like being outside, especially in really cold in the winter time. But then there's other times in winter, if the sky is blue and the sun's out, then that's the time that I like to get out and enjoy skiing and, and just, you know, loving the snow and being outside in the, in the mountains. And then in the summertime, it's getting out and, being around lakes and and in the forests and hiking and and all of that where you can hear the birds and you might run into um, some deer, um, rabbits, coyotes. Um, Hopefully you don't run into a bear, but sometimes you might. And so wherever you are in the world, if you have the chance to get out into nature and Obviously, the social distancing is a big part of that, but that is one of the most nourishing things you can do for your body at this time. And if you have the chance to get under the sun, the sunbeam, then acknowledge that gift and listening to the birds and getting some beautiful plants and flowers and things that you can plant. A lot of people are doing on... on, um, in China, they're doing uh, balcony gardens where they're growing some of their greens, and uh, which is awesome. So, if you haven't, that's a that's a really fun thing to do, where you can start to nourish your your body and your space with some something that's growing, something that requires not only nourishment from the earth, but nourishment for your body, and. Something that I I have done and I did last month was I actually did this um, worldwide event where I invited different countries who had translators to translate this one-hour meditation, this connection with our earth and the connection with our spaces and how we can heal the world with our space. And yes, we absolutely can. I, I I know it from every molecule, every core in my body, that through our spaces, we can heal. We can heal ourselves. We can heal relationships. You can heal uh, challenges that go on within the home, within your business, within your m- money and finances. You can do so much healing because our spaces actually have ears they listen they listen to what energy is being emitted out and so for that energy that you have been emitting out for the last six weeks eight weeks into your space what percentage of that energy are you aware of that is actually placing that positive, thriving, joyful, happy, silly, giggling energy and what percentage has been that doom and gloom and oh my God, the sky is falling down energy and are you willing to start to infuse that joyful, playful, fun energy into your home? Because I promise you, when you start to do that, then everything else starts to get lighter, starts to lighten up for you. Because this time in the world is changing. It is moving. It isn't stagnant. It's not staying still. It's moving. And we can, we can assist the movement to create more peace, more joy, more healing for each and every person. And so I'm inviting all of you listeners to 
uh, you can go to my Facebook page and there is an event on the 30th of this month called Heal the World with Our Space. And we have 10 languages that this is being simultaneously translated. So we have Chinese, uh, German, French, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, Romanian, Arabic, Hebrew, uh, gosh, there's one other, I'm sorry, it's jumped out of my head, and possibly more that will be joining. And the most beautiful part of this is that every single person that has offered to translate is totally aware of the gifts that this can be for their city, their community, their country, and beyond. And if you are able to be a part of this, to listen in, the collective energy from every person around the world will gift everybody's bodies, everybody's spaces, and Mother Earth who's so willing to communicate and to contribute to us. And so this, I would be honored and thrilled to have you attend. It's 8.30 a.m. Mountain Standard Time or UTC minus six hours. So go to a great app called World Time Buddy and you can Google Calgary, Alberta, which is my time zone, so 8.30 a.m., and see what time zone it is for you. Now, for those of my friends that it will be in the middle of the night, you could wake up and be a part of it live, or you could get a recording. And either way, just please go to my uh, Facebook page, and you'll find a place that you can uh, register with your email and that way you can get a copy of the recording. And we'll have all languages in the recording. I'm not going to differentiate and find out what country or what language you speak. It's so if you, um, you know, you might have friends that, that um, speak different languages. And so therefore you can share that with them afterwards. So this is about each of us contributing to healing our spaces, healing our bodies, healing our relationships, healing our businesses, healing for a greater future. And how many of you are are really, truly desiring to heal our spaces and have our spaces be part of the healing for the future that we all know that we can absolutely create? And it will be And it is going to be greater than we could ever imagine. And yes, it will look differently. And there will be a lot of similarities to what we already have. This this magical planet that we all live on, this magical home that we all have the privilege of being a part of, is waiting for each and every one of you to be a part of this. So I'm... uh, I'm grateful and and uh, grateful for any of you that have tuned in today. It's been a bit of a, I don't know if it's been a bit of a mishmash, but it's been kind of fun and I like to uh, to play with the energy of a sock drawer. So, <laughs> any sock jokes, we are open open to it. But in the meantime, for each and every one of you, Be happy, be joyful, and what would you like to create in your life? And how would you like to gift your space today going forward with this magical energy? Thank you for choosing to listen to the Infinite Energies Radio Show. Lisa Bennett will return next Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Lisa loves to connect with her listeners. Email her at lisa at infiniteenergies.ca.
or find her Infinite Energies page on Facebook. We look forward to having you join us again to share the changes you have begun to make.